Community groups are calling for the mayor and city council to provide more rent relief in next year's budget, saying too many families are in danger of becoming homeless due to the pandemic. 10 News anchor Mary McKenzie is at City Hall where they staged a protest in chalk today. A protest drawn in chalk here on the City Hall Plaza, hoping to get the attention of the City Council before their meeting today to discuss the city's budget. The mayor's budget continues to spend a majority of general fund dollars on policing. The police department's budget is increasing by tens of millions from last year. While we've had to fight for departments providing core city services like libraries, parks and code enforcement. A rally drawn and staged by 22 community based organizations making up the Community Budget Alliance. They're calling on Mayor Faulkner and the San Diego City Council to approve a people's budget, which includes $70 million in funding for emergency rental assistance. What's currently allocated, advocates say, is woefully inadequate, $10 million, when there are 140,000 families estimated to be at risk of homelessness during the current economic and health crisis in a city that was already facing a crisis of affordable housing. So the 140 figures on City Hall Plaza represent that 140,000 number. With the budget review process well underway. We feel sort of desperate because this is really the last chance. We can't not do something because too many people are at risk, too many families, too many children. At City Hall, Mary McKenzie, 10 News. And that push to fund rent relief comes as city leaders try to figure out how to deal with a multi-million dollar deficit because of the pandemic. Mayor Faulkner has said that the $270 million from the state and federal government will help to prevent, prevent some cuts, but the proposed budget eliminates 275 positions, and that's fewer than originally proposed in April. It also closes libraries on Sundays and Mondays and would cut in half next year's round of arts and culture grants. The City Council has to adopt a budget by June 15th and it must be finalized by the end of the month.